Hey guys, Craig Atkins here and welcome to another week in outdoors. Today we're at the range shooting my Ruger Precision 17 HMR and I have to say this Ruger is my favorite gun of all times and I always love shooting a 17 HMR and I spend a lot of time with this gun and I have a lot of people ask me you know how effective is a 17 HMR? Is it only good for squirrel hunting? Um, can you coyote hunt with it? Uh, is it only good to, out to 100 yards? Um, um, you know, actually the 17 HMR is a very effective hunting round. Uh, the trick is putting that bullet right where you want it. And to be able to do that, you have to spend a lot of time with it and you have to know where it's going to hit in different wind speeds, you know, five miles an hour, 10 mile an hour. So you spend a lot of time at the range shooting at different wind speeds to know where that bullet's going to hit. But just to prove that it is a very effective um, rounded extended ranges I've taken a target of a coyote head and put it out at 300 yards and we are going to see if we can't get us a kill shot at 300 yards with the 17 H and R so um, you know I've got my gun zeroed at 50 yards and at 100 it shoots about an inch high 150 about an inch low and from there it's just dropping like a rock um, so you have to have to shoot extended ranges you need a scope that has adjustable turrets on it like mine does this is a Simmons Pro Target 3x9 scope very inexpensive scope 53 bucks at Walmart and um, I've got it zeroed at 50 yards as I said so I've I've um, did the dope on this gun at 300 yards and it says that I need to dial up to 3.2 mils so we're going to do that and I also take notes when I'm out here target practicing and I've shot in 10 mile an hour winds before and it says that I need to at 300 yards I need to shoot six to seven inches into the wind so that it will drift right into my target. So that's what we're gonna do. I've got it dialed up. I've got one round right here in my mag and we're gonna take a shot at 300 yards and see if we can't put a paper coyote on the ground. Here we go. That felt pretty good. All right. I couldn't see that hit from here. So let's go down and see how I did. All right, guys, there you go. I put that shot right there, right where it counts. And to do that, from prior experience, I knew at 300 yards with a 10 mile an hour wind that that shot was going to drift six or seven inches. So I just aimed six inches to the right because my wind is blowing from right to left and drifted that shot right where I wanted it. And that is a dead coyote at 300 yards. So, you know, the key is, is you have to know where your shot's going to hit with a five mile an hour wind, 10 mile an hour wind, and so on. And to be able to do that, you have to get out here and practice, practice, practice.